Hey guys, Mick here. Um, thought we'd just make a bit of a video today um, because there's been a few people asking about what you should carry in a toolkit. So have a bit of a look at what I actually carry and I'll talk a little bit about what I keep in my bigger kit as well. So guys, your on-bike kit, basically what you're looking at is being able to fix things when you're out on the bike. And you're really not looking at doing major tune-ups, but you need to be able to repair things that are likely to break on the trail and get you back. So the first obvious thing is tires. So if you get a flat, you always need to be carrying a spare tube of some description. Um, even if you're running tubeless, a spare tube is the best way to guarantee that you'll be able to get home again. So always important to have a spare tube. Okay, so if you're carrying a spare tube, obviously you've got to have a way to inflate it. So one option is CO2 canisters. I do carry them and they're great for quick inflation, but I wouldn't rely on one. So if you somewhere where you don't want to have to walk back, a CO2 is not great. The problem with CO2s is when you screw them in, you could lose the gas or you find it doesn't seal properly and you've got one shot at inflating your tire. Um, if it doesn't work, then you're walking. Um, you can carry multiple canisters, but once again, it's always more reliable to carry a pump. I've got a slightly bigger pump. Um, the advantage of this is it's a little floor pump. So basically you can unscrew the end, fold that out, and it's like a little track pump. Now there's lots of really good lightweight pumps available. This is actually surprisingly light for its size. The advantage is it's a lot easier to use. So you can get a really small, super lightweight one that'll get you out of trouble. Um, because I coach a lot and I often end up having to deal with flat tires, I'd much rather have, have the extra size and weight and have something that's really super reliable. Because if I've got a client that's got a flat tire, I want to be able to get it fixed and get riding again really quickly. And it's really frustrating, particularly if you've got kids and you've got a couple of them with flats, it's really frustrating if you've got a tiny little pump. If you're out by yourself though, yes, yeah, something that'll get air in is all you need and pumps are way more reliable than CO2 canisters. So to be able to take a tire off, you may need some tire levers. I always carry a pair of tire levers. It's pretty rare for me to not be able to get a tire off without levers. So with the right technique, 90% of the time you can get tires off. But for that occasions when you can't get it on and off, it's really great to have a set of tire levers. Um, once again, super cheap. They're just old plastic ones I've had lying around for years. Work really, really well. Your other option for tyres is a repair kit in that um, I don't carry a tube repair kit, but I do carry a tubeless tyre repair kit. So this one's got a little spike and you can push a plug through the tube with it, through the outside of your tyre with it. And the idea is if you're running tubeless, you can shove a plug in, um, the sealant will seal to it and you don't have to put a tube in. So I do carry one of these, they're quite useful um, and that's my first go-to. If it doesn't work, then I've got a tube as a backup. So if I'm out on a short ride if, or if I'm racing and I'm, you know, I don't mind walking out if things go, go wrong, then I'll get by with just a, a plug and maybe a CO2. But anything any longer or where I really don't want to have to walk back, I'm always going to be carrying a tube and a pump as well. The other thing that's really worth having is a decent moldy tool. I've had this one for years. Um, most modern bikes now, you can fix everything with a variety of Allen keys and so forth. So a moldy tool is great. Um, you want a good quality one that's not going to strip. Uh, this one's also got a chain brake on it. And once again, some of the cheaper ones, the tra chain brakes are pretty rubbish. Uh, this chain brake's really good. And if I take the chain brake piece off, there's actually spoke keys on the side of it. So with this one thing, I can break and replace links in the chain. I can tighten and loosen pretty much everything on the bike, including taking pedals off. Um, and I can tighten spokes. So that's really 90% of what you're likely to want to do out on the trail. So that's a, a really necessary sort of thing to be carrying. If you're going to, from a chain point of view, you should always carry a join link. So join links are pretty cheap. I've got a little bag and I've got a couple of join links in it. So that way, if you do break a chain, you've got a link to place in. If you don't carry a join link, you can always 
uh, get by by pushing a pin half out and back in again. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but it does work. Um, so you don't necessarily need a join link, but it is convenient. The other bits I carry that are not strictly necessary is a small shifting spanner. Um, I use this because in a lot of cases we're coaching kids and they may not have quick release wheels. And this one goes just big enough that you can usually get it on most hub axles. So you can undo the, the nuts to take a wheel out. The other advantage of this that I do actually probably use it more for is they're great for straightening brake rotors. So if you get a bend in your brake rotor, you can use it, you can use it to straighten it enough to get you out of trouble. Um, so once again, really useful, particularly if you're somewhere a little bit more obscure. The other thing I carry that's not necessarily needed is I carry a simple Leatherman. Once again, it's a decent brand one, so it's, it's fairly strong. Gives me a pair of pliers, a pair of cutters. Um, so great for um, if, you've, if you've got anything that you need to cut or things to pull on, uh, pulling spikes out of tires, lots of really useful things. I've actually had a small kid at one stage fall off his bike and ended up with his arm jammed through the wheel and we had to cut spokes out of his wheel to get his arm out. Um, and also, it, obviously it comes with other really important things like a bottle opener for afterwards and you know, knife and other sort of tools. So if you're trying to travel really light, probably not necessary. But once again, for me with guiding and stuff, it's just a nice thing to have and I'm always carrying lots of stuff anyway, so it's not that much of an extra list. Okay, the other thing that you potentially want is some cable ties. Cable ties are awesome for putting things on the bike that should be on the bike that have fallen off. Um, so always handy to carry a few cable ties. So the bigger tools that I carry um, that I've got as a base toolkit is obviously a track pump. Um, they're really, really useful to have a decent track pump. I also carry a pressure gauge, um, digital pressure gauge, because most track pumps, are, their gauges are pretty rubbish, um, or they might be consistent, but they're not necessarily accurate. So I'll, if I actually care about my pressures when I'm racing and stuff like that, I'll use a proper digital pressure gauge. I also carry a shock pump, um, because you need to be able to set your suspension up. So shock pump's really useful. The other tools, the key thing is set of Allen keys because using a multi-tool can be a real pain in the ass. So having a proper set of decent Allen keys is really useful. And from there on it goes to more, whatever specialist tools that you sort of need for servicing your bike. Um, pedal spanner is a really useful thing to have. Um, I tend to just use a big Allen key. Most of my pedals have got Allen key. Um, but yeah, depending on how much level you want to go to, um, I carry some tools for getting bottom brackets out, um, various things like that. Um, I also carry bleed kit for brakes, so that's always handy. Um, the other thing that's also, if you're riding a bit further, that's potentially worth carrying in your kit, um, certainly if you're on trips, is a spare derailleur hanger, um, because they are designed to break. Um, I always carry one when I'm on trips, because it's something that's, non, um, that's bike specific. So if you break one, it's hard to replace it. Um, I don't normally carry it around in my day-to-day -day riding, but that's always in my toolbox. So the other way is how do you carry stuff on the bike? Um, if you're carrying a backpack or a camelback or something, that can be a good way to do it. You can put a toolkit on your bike. There's a number of tools now that fit inside your headset and things like that, um, that are quite light and small. You can get ones that go into your cranks. Um, for me, because I'm guiding a lot of the time or instructing, I'm normally carrying a bag anyway, so I'm pretty used to carrying a bag, so I normally carry stuff in the bag, which allows me to carry a bit bigger pump and things like that. Um, once you go for the super light kits and like the in the headset stuff, you don't necessarily have the ability to carry a pump. Um, but if you don't mind walking back from where you get a flat, then you can kind of take that risk. Um, like I say, I'm always carrying a bag with me, so it's easy enough for me to throw most of this in the bag. So one of the things you might want to think about with carrying gear is a lot of people will carry it just in back pockets of jerseys and things. Be really careful about that because if you crash on it, it really, really hurts. 
and you're likely to end up with a pump or something jammed into your kidneys. Um, I prefer to carry it in a backpack where I've got some padding between it um, or even one of the packs that's got um, armour in the back of it. Uh, so that sort of does take away from that. I have fallen on toolkits before and ended up with really sort of badly bruised kidney. So yeah, it is something to think about. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this was really useful. And um, yeah, continue to subscribe below, watch the rest of our videos, and we'll see you out on the trails.